Morning, gang. Tuesday morning, about 10 o'clock here. Uh, all right, so this is kind of important. Uh, obviously, a lot of you are probably seeing this on Rumble. A few of you may be seeing this on YouTube because I have created a YouTube backup channel. It's called Pinball Prepping, and I will put the link underneath here. I've kind of tried to get the word out through uh, some of the other community members. So, you know, Prepper Now, TJ, Lake Ferry, Angry Prepper 101. Uh, so hopefully y'all found that there. But if you're seeing this on Rumble and Rumble's a pain in the ass for you, uh, you can watch this on YouTube because for the time being, I'm going to post them in both places so y'all can get this information because obviously uh, the Communist Party that be has made it very difficult for us to get the information out to you guys. So, want to bring this one up to you. Uh, this is getting scary, okay? This is now communist overlord crap. Uh, the Biden administration is now going to work with tech companies and text message carriers to monitor and combat any comments that are anti-vax, okay? So... Now, not only are they going to try to shut us down on the social media platforms for talking about this, they're going to start monitoring your text messages. Uh, this gets to the point of illegal. And the Republicans have completely gone ballistic about this, saying that this is this is not, you know, a good deal. And uh, Biden and the DNC are now coming out and saying, no, we're going to be dispelling all this information in people's private text messages. Now, who in the hell gave them the right to monitor private text messages or for that matter, private emails? I mean, what are they going to do next? Open all your mail in, uh, you know, the post office. I mean, this begins to start, start to sound like the Soviet Union, China, North Korea, a prison. I mean, you f you figure it out. I mean, d d anybody, d d oh, we've got to dispel misinformation about the vaccine. Start looking inside your own organization. You are the ones that are putting out the disinformation about the vaccine. It is not FDA approved. It is approved for emergency use only. That is a fact. So now going around and saying you need to get it bullshit okay uh i mean this this is just completely freaking insane guys and y'all y'all need y'all need to know what's going on be careful with your texts be careful with your emails uh big brother is now watching and somehow some way they think they have the right to monitor your personal communications. I want, where in the hell did that come, come up? Okay. Uh, I mean, this is full blown communism. There is, there's no other way to do it. I mean, ask, and I mean, obviously I've got a source that lives through it or lived through it. Uh, but when they can monitor anything that you're doing, I mean, what's next? Are they going to start by deleting the message? Are they next going to arrest you? What are they going to do with all of this? This is effing insane. I'll keep it clean. Uh, but, I mean, you want, to, you want to go arrest somebody who's putting out fake information? Go find Fauci. Fauci, wear two masks, wear one mask. We don't need to social distance. We do need to social distance. Uh, you know, I mean, pick something. I mean, I mean, the dude is is a walking contradiction. You know, I mean, he'll say, you know, oh, the jab hurts. Oh, wait a minute, I got it in this arm. Okay, stop. All right. I mean, we need to get rid of. I mean, obliterate. Democrats get rid of the entire party. They are the demise of the world, of the United States. They are doing anything and everything they can to destroy this country and turn us into communist China. Uh, I mean, I've had it. This is 
just beyond insane. And when they when they think they have the right to start now monitoring private communications, how are they going to do it? Are they going to use an algorithm to find if there's a word in there they don't like? No, they're just going to have tech companies monitor everything. So now the text message that you said sent to your husband or wife says, hey, honey, pick up a loaf of bread on the way home. They're going to know that. Okay. Hey, honey, you know, uh, we only have $12 left in the bank account before Friday. Now they're going to know that. Okay. I mean, God forbid it's something, I mean, and not that I'm condoning this or anything like that, but you know, you're having a affair or somebody, you know, you're talking to your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever would be. And now all of a sudden the government needs to know about this. Okay. No, this is not illegal. This is first amendment crap guys. This is flat out a violation of your First Amendment. You have the right to communicate with anybody in this country that you want to, anybody in the world that you want to, okay? You can do what, I mean, A, it's freedom of speech, and B, it's freedom of assembly, all right? You can take the freedom of assembly part going, okay, in a digital era where we've all been forced to go online and do all our work through Zoom and everything like that, you are free to assemble whatsoever, so let's bring in the work side to it. Now, if they're going to monitor personal text messages, how many of y'all use text messages for work purposes? I do, okay. So now, are they going to be able to uh, tap into, are they going to start reading the text messages I sent to potential candidates that I'm considering hiring for a position? Oh, really? You know, let's talk about, uh, you know, Private data for a company, private data for a person. You're looking for a job. Let's say you have a job and you talk to a guy like me. Well, you know, you don't want to tell your current company that you're out looking, but hey, the government knows. And what if the government goes to your current company and says, you know what? Joe Smith's looking for a job. This is the slippery slope we're on, guys. Okay. Where they get away trying to monitor stuff. I mean, this is, what are they so friggin' afraid of? I mean, they've deplatformed or, you know, put, put strikes on countless channels. I mean, like I said, me, 101, uh, Autumn's Backyard Garden got hit, The Prepared Mind got hit, all in the course of 24 hours, okay? Uh, you know, we must be over the target, guys, because... When they're starting to pull this crap, that not only are they going to go after social media, but now they're going to go after your personal conversations with somebody else, that's illegal. I mean, this this will be what completely sets the balloon off. I mean, this this is it. I mean, the hell with going after the Second Amendment. They're, they've, they're now all out war on the first. I mean, we know about going after religion. We know about going after freedom of speech. I mean, you know, what's next? They're going to start telling people that we don't have the right to counsel when they when they haul us off to jail. Hell, let's just why don't they, why don't we just start arresting people and send them straight to Gitmo? You know, oh man, you sent a text message. Well, you know what? Here come the black SUVs, and we're going to put you uh, on the on the next plane to Gitmo, and you can sit right next to. Uh, you know, the, the shoe bomber and, uh, you know, Richard Reed and do all. This is where Biden is going with this, guys. This is how, this is how freaking close we are to complete and utter chaos. Anarchy is a better solution than what Biden's got going on right now. This is dangerous. Spread this. All right. If you find, if you're seeing us on Rumble, Find me on Pinball Prepper, uh, or Pinball Prepping. I'm sorry, that's what I put the new one as. Uh, I'll put the link uh, below so you guys can find it there because I know Rumble's a pain in the ass for some of you guys to, to navigate. Hopefully, y'all find this, uh, but this is some scary shit. Uh, as more comes out, I'll be back. See y'all. Pinball out.